My name is Dennis and in this episode we're making a boozy strawberry jam. So what are we gonna need? We're gonna need two pounds of strawberries, sugar, water, and the most important part of this boozy strawberry jam, whiskey. About a cup, cup and a half, really depends how boozy you want it to be. You can use rum, but I just prefer whiskey. I think it brings out that nice American flavor. Now the other thing we're gonna need is we need a potato masher. That's what this thing is using to make mashed potatoes. So first we're gonna do is we're gonna wash these off, get any dirt, anything else we have on them so we can eat them and be fine with it. All right, so we gave these a quick rinse. And we're gonna, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take off the stem. Now I'm just gonna use a paring knife and just cut off the sides around the top. And dump it in the pot. And we're gonna do this for all two pounds of the strawberries. Now, the one thing about this recipe is, the reason there's no exacts to the measurements is because it really depends on how ripe your strawberries are. They could be ripe, they could be overly ripe, or they could just be naturally sweet. So, it really depends on the sugar level. So, it's gonna be probably between anywhere between one and four cups of sugar. And obviously, if you're using less sugar, or it also depends on the sweetness of your liquor. But I do have to warn you, once you do this, you probably won't ever buy strawberry jam from the store again. The thing about this recipe is it's also incredibly easy. The only thing is it takes time because we're gonna have to basically boil off the water. In the jungle, the mighty jungle, the lion sleeps tonight. In the jungle. Now the reason I'm using this pot is because I'm actually going to cook it over the stove top. You can use a slow cooker, but you just have to keep an eye on it. So keep that in mind, it is an option you can do. It's just, I prefer using the stove top. Oh, so we are down to our last two strawberries. So I'm just gonna put this aside. And throw this away. So now we have our pot. What we're gonna do is we're gonna add our bourbon. I'm using a cup and a half because I like it boozy. We're gonna add about a cup of sugar. I'm gonna mash this in with our masher. Just a bit, not too much. Just to kind of get it flat in the pot. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add enough water to cover this. You basically don't want the strawberries exposed to the air. Perfect. So, to the stove. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna set our heat to medium. Put it on there. We're just gonna smash it a little bit. Like I said, the thing with this recipe is it's gonna take you a while to cook. Probably around two to three hours, depending on how many strawberries you have, how deep your pot is, that sort of thing. And we really just want it to cook slow. Now as you see, there are some leaves in here. That's because I failed in that just failed. And we're just gonna let it sit there. We're gonna check it probably every 10 to 15 minutes, give it a stir, give it a mash, and just watch it. Let it get to the consistency that we want with our jam. Also, don't forget to add salt. We're gonna add about three pinches. So we're gonna taste this as it simmers down and boils away some of the water now. Don't add too much salt because you don't really want to end up with a salty strawberry jam. You want it boozy, not salty. So this has been cooking for about 30 minutes and it's coming along nicely. I'm gonna go ahead and taste it. I've been stirring it every 10, 15 minutes just to get it so it doesn't stick in the bottom. Now that I'm actually gonna taste it. That. Yes, I doubled it. That for me is perfect. Not too sweet, not too salty, just right. 
So I'm gonna let this sit for another 15 minutes and come back and try it. We'll go from there. So this has been cooking for an hour now. We're gonna go ahead and give it a stir and then give it a try. It's kind of basically started to really whittle down. You don't have to mash it much. See, that's good, but it's starting to go a little bit on the bitter side. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of sugar. That's salt, you don't wanna do that. I'm gonna add about a third of a cup. I'm just gonna stir that in. So this goes back to what I was saying at the beginning, is you really have to try it as you're cooking. Based on how sweet your strawberries are, or the alcohol you use, it could go either way. In this case, I need to add a little bit more sugar. So we're just gonna stir it, make sure that sugar is dissolved, and let it sit for another half hour. So this has been cooking now for about an hour and a half, and as you can see, it's starting to really thicken up, and now you really have to be careful with it here. You wanna watch it very closely. You don't want it to stick to the bottom. I've also switched to a silicone spatula so I can scrape off the sides and the bottom. And let me give it a quick taste test to see how it is. That's perfect. That little bit of sugar that we added brought it right back to where I wanted it to be. I'm just gonna watch it. Slow and slow. So, slow, low and slow, low and slow. So this has been cooking for two hours now, and this is looking fantastic. Now you really have to pay attention to it as you're getting close to that two hour mark because it can easily burn. It almost burned on me. Luckily I caught it just in time. I was in between five minute intervals. So this is good. As you can see, this is, it's not runny. It's sloppy. It's fantastic. And it's right in the flavor profile that we want. So we're gonna turn off the heat let this cool. It's not quite as hot as guava hot, but guava lava, lava gaw, but it's jamming down. So we're going to take this off the stove. So we're going to go ahead and let this cool, but before we do, we're going to transfer it to a bowl so that it doesn't get all the heat from the pot. This, this is fantastic. And this will thicken as it cools off. So don't think that you have to thicken it completely while it's in the heat. Can't get my tongue in this pot, that's not I would. I'm gonna toast up a piece of bread. Got some cream cheese. Oh man. There's no need to can this because it's not gonna make it. Unless you make like 10 pounds of strawberry jam, there's no, this won't last. That is unbelievable. As you saw, very simple, just time consuming, very basic ingredients. Strawberries, sugar, water, salt, and the most important one, whiskey. You can use rum, you can use whatever you want, but I recommend you use whiskey. That is, that is baller. As always, my name is Dennis from Black Tie Kitchen. Check out the ingredients below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe. Check out Instagram, Facebook, the whole rigor more down in the description. Until next time, eat well.